In this video, we stay at the Raleigh Durham Fairgrounds, which was nice, but not without problems. Head over to the Raleigh Durham RV show, check out the new fleet of Lances, and hang out with YouTubers and sneak peek at the Brinkley. Keep watching. So we just arrived at the, uh, is this area called? Raleigh the Raleigh Durham State, State Park? No. At the fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. <laughs> and we're trying to find a place to park. Looking for the horse complex. That hurricane. Slow, no dust. All campers check in at office. Security before hooking to utilities, no horses and campsite. Is that the office? Yeah, he said just park, remember? So let's just find a spot and then we'll call him. He said he'll come collect it. This is cool. If there's a spot, then it'll be cool. <laughs> True. If there's no spots, then it's not cool. You think it's big enough for you? Yeah. Problem is, I'm concerned about the yellow tape. Yeah, I'm gonna back up a little more. You should be good. Okay. What's up with that, though? I feel like somebody might have been pulling a stunt trying to hold a spot. Mm hmm. Something like that, what you think? It's possible. Power works. Yeah, maybe someone was just trying to hold a spot. That's a some kind of stunt I would pull. <laughs> so that's why that's why that pops in my head. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what? I should carry some tape around like that. Wow. That's so messed up. Good? We're level. <laughs> Everything works. Just wonder if the water has some type of contamination or something. I, I mean, know. it's not like we have our own pipeline, right? They're all connected. Right, right. So, so, and we have a filter, and we don't drink that water anyway. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm waiting for the uh, worker before I fully hook up and disconnect. I don't want to disconnect until until he gets here. Right. So basically, the way it works here is that it's first come, first serve. You find a spot, and then there's a number that you can call. And then the guy said that he would be over. That was about maybe 10 minutes ago. So we're just kind of lingering, waiting to hook up. I'm excited because the Chapmans are here and the Banks are here and the Adventure Bandits are here. And this wasn't really something that we planned in advance. It just kind of worked out that way. So I'm really excited to meet the Banks. It feels like we know them, even though we haven't met them. Same with the bandits. We've hung out with CC and D before. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. We had fun at the New Bern KOA. So yeah, we're just um, waiting patiently. I believe it's 35 bucks a night and it's full hookup. So you really can't beat that. And it's not far from um, Interstate 40. One thing to keep in mind though, I just thought about it. If you do stay here, there I don't think there's a bathhouse or um, a bathroom anywhere like right in this vicinity. I think you have to kind of walk um, a ways down to get to like a bathroom. All right, appreciate it. All set? Thank you. So the guy just came. He pulls up in like a car that has, um, it's like got the lights on top and stuff. It's not moving. Huh? It's not moving. They don't. Going up is not. You gotta like shake it side. Going up, it's not gonna do nothing. It is moving. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more. This is why mm. I can't do these things by myself. I'm real basic sometimes. It looks good. No, it's good. So I think I figured out why this thing was taped up. I don't know if you can see over on that side it has a little nipple on the water source we don't have a nipple so i had to like kind of put my own thing on here this thing was missing 
a little nipple piece. So this is this is my little 90 degree elbow that I kind of like Jimmy rigged in there. Hopefully that'll work. But yeah, I think that's the reason. So it wasn't somebody trying to hold a spot. <laughs> so let's see if that works. So I'm having a hard time connecting all the line and getting it to stop leaking and all that. So I'm gonna just fill the tank up and we'll use the water pump. We may believe we're in a boondocking or something like that. It's been an ordeal, but uh, we made it. Huh? Because I always see a bunch of lances over there. Cool. All right, we're in here. It kind of looks like the one in uh, the Richmond. Thank you. Oh, thank you. One more Ooh. Okay, I love t-shirts. Y'all got an RV camera, right? Yeah, we do. I think did. I just watched it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm Maya and that's him, right? What's your name? I'm Brian. Brian? Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing, bud? <laughs> I'm getting that footage. Oh, yeah. Always. So we just met Brian. He's a... Bryant. He's a, Bryant. Sorry. Oh, yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Bryant, he's from Jersey. Yes, and sir. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. We gonna yeah. play it in? BPRV Adventures. BPRV Adventures. Do you I'm just starting out. Okay. Are you full time? I'm not full time. Okay, weekend warrior like us. I'm a, yeah. Cool. So I came to Rally. I got to go to Atlanta. I'm a musician, so I'm going to oh, work nice. on a couple movies, doing some music, okay. and then I'm going oh, nice. to on the beach for Bike Week. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna get that footage. You can get some good content. Yeah, that'd be yeah. a nice trip. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, friend. Yeah, Likewise, nice I'll be here. I'm gonna check out the Adventure Band this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll okay. be there. Okay. okay. Gas in, he gonna make sure something gotta take a, get a gas appointment when I go. He gonna let he gonna teach me all the things I need to know. <laughs> so D not gonna have so to touch D. it. That's the plan. Yeah, you gotta touch it. Cause I ain't, <laughs> not for much we paying for. I'm gonna pull in. I'm gonna stay pumped tight. That's the point. Campers in. Go to Roll the red van, make a left. Jay. Yeah, you see that super yeah. C. I'm as long as I can make it to T-Mobile, I know how to get there. Cause they T-Mobile right there. No, I know, but I know how to get back to T-Mobile. All right, we're going to check out Cece's van that she's about to order. Or did you already order it? Girl, I'll put it in order. Okay, super excited. This is so cool. Oh my God. After hanging out with some friends, we decided to go check out the Brinkley and see what the hype is about. But there was a lot of people in there, so this is all we got, guys. But we found this pinnacle, which is almost just as good as the Brinkley, if not better. It reminded us of the North Point mid bunk uh, series that a friend of ours jay and sherry own it is really nice and we would definitely consider something like this in the future then we looked around a little bit more found this weird rv with this weird outdoor kitchen it looks like a coffin i just had to throw this in there because i've never seen something like this before and i just don't understand it but yeah then we went to go check out the adventure bandit seminar it was really cool they talked about their adventures we met them for the first time other youtubers and subscribers and then we decided to go have dinner the Banks, the Chapmans. We got to chat it up with the Bandits for the very first time in person, which that was really cool. We got to hang out with our supporters like Don, Sabrina, Crystal, Jay, Daryl, Tanya. They were all really cool. We had a blast. You can't beat this campground with full hookups for 35 bucks a night. I mean, it's pretty convenient. It just sucks that you can't book your spots. So we are headed back to the RV show, you know, the Lance models have a special place in our heart since the Lance was our first trailer. So we're gonna actually go and um, do some Lance tours. We're gonna do some of the truck campers and the travel trailers. So I'm pretty excited about that. We took a look at a few of them yesterday, but we're gonna get a more in-depth look at some of those trailers. So we are back at the RV show for another double dose of RV. We can't get enough, guys. I can do these every weekend. <laughs> Definitely more crowded today than yesterday, guys. This is a 1685. Honestly, I really like this one. This is a great couple. I like how it's got the east-west bed mm -hmm. in here. Oh, 
This is the 1995. A little bit different bed situation here. This is more like the 2085 with a little curtain going across. Huh. Like a little fold up bed situation? Yeah, this is the one that doesn't have the bunks in the bed. Oh, they got the same type of doors, huh? I guess that's their thing. What is the 1575? East West Bet. Norco Fridge. That's cool. Got solar. Huh? It's a little bath. A wet bath? Oh no, they got a shower in here. So we then headed over to get a closer look at CC's World TV's camper van. Yeah, this thing is pimp, y'all. It's Jerry, I'm sorry, but this thing is nice. I'm excited for her and Dee. Uh, maybe we could do some travel content and do some convoying together. That would be fun, looking forward to that. We then headed over to the Adventure Branches booth, took some photos with them and the subscribers and the viewers and the YouTubers, and we said our goodbyes. We were real sad when it was time to head out. We really love hanging out and camping with other like-minded campers. This was so much fun and we will continue to do it in the future. Peace.